I I don't know why I keep yawning. This is a very serious topic. <laughs> For today's video, I thought that I would talk about something that is a very big part of my life, and that is the fact that I have third degree burns on 30% of my body. In April of 2006, I suffered from a burn accident. My uncle, who I was, my mom and I were living with at the time, he um, was boiling water for the first time in his life and I remember it was very hot because it was April in Florida it was very hot and I I was I'm the oldest out of my brother and out of my cousin who we lived with at the time and so I decided that we should eat some ice cream but then I grabbed the chair and I put it next to the stove and I'm trying to reach up above um, the stove to reach the cabinet to where I thought the ice cream cones were and um, so the ice cream cones I don't know if they were there but I was too short even with the chair to reach all the way above the stove so I told my cousin um, I was like oh no like I can't reach and she's like okay that's fine we'll just eat it in a bowl or whatever and so I go to get down and um, went down something happened to where the handle of the pot got caught on me and when I went down from the chair, the water poured down on me. But I just remember that I started screaming because boiling water had just poured it down on me. I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt and I, started, I screamed so loud. My uncle and aunt did hear me and they rushed out and were what's wrong like what happened and we um you know they just see water and the pot and me and pain and my legs were bright red and so they went to knock on the bathroom door and my mom was like what's wrong what happened and they told her so my mom like rushed out she went to her room changed very quickly so she grabbed a whole thing of toothpaste and she put it on my legs. Um, at this point, of course, I was in the bathtub. And um, my mom gets out and she's panicking and my legs are bright red. And so I was rushed to the hospital in the ambulance. I was in the hospital for two weeks. Um, when I first got induced into the hospital, they thought they said that it was second degree burn after i was induced into the hospital they actually found out that i had third degree burns and that i would need skin grafts once my skin graft surgery went through i remember that i was when i woke up they had me eat peaches and i threw them up after i got out of the hospital i had to be in bed rest for another week and unfortunately for me my mom couldn't afford to be out of work for a week so she had a lady that she was friends with uh, watch me for a week and so after that so I was basically out of school for three weeks so after that I was able to go back to school but I'd go see the nurse every day because she had to my dressings had to be changed three times a day and so I had to go to her halfway through um, the day for her to change my dressings and uh, um, some most kids were like sympathetic and um, they felt bad for me and Someone started the rumor about my belly button being burned off and I remember going off on everyone in the playground like stop talking about it and I lifted my shirt up I'm like you see that that is a belly button I did not lose my belly button so stop talking and spreading rumors about me losing my belly button in the accident because I didn't I felt like everything had changed
and I spent a lot of nights hoping with all of my willpower that everything could go back to how it was before and that I could wear shorts without having to fear that people were going to see my burns and think badly of me or be grossed out or be weirded out by my burns and I remember thinking that I was never gonna get married that no one was ever gonna want to marry me because I had burn scars it was just a lot of internalized stuff going on in my head I was doing this to myself and um I was just very sad and I felt like I had to hide what was going on. In seventh grade, I moved to another city and um, I didn't tell anybody and I wore pants and the shirts that I wore were below my knee and I never told anybody about my burns because I felt in a way that I had to hide who I was. I felt in a way that I had to hide the fact that I had burns and hide the fact that this had happened to me because for me it was like a brand new start. But now I am slowly but surely learning to accept the skin that I'm in because um, this is this is me and no matter how hard I tried to change it when I was a little girl and how much I wished nights upon nights that this would all be some night crazy nightmare through this experience that I went through I was able to meet some amazing people at a camp that I go to I was able to meet people who are just like me and meet people with different burns um, in different areas and how they have embraced and loved the scars and how they see beauty in themselves because they are beautiful they're such beautiful souls and it's so hard to live in a world that's so prejudiced with the way that people look on the outside it's so hard when these beautiful souls people just see their scars they don't see beyond that they don't see that they're funny, that they're talented, that they're sweet, that they're thoughtful, and it's so sad. People who are different, who look different, who talk different, who think different, people who don't fit the standard, people seem to think that they're abnormal or weird or strange and they avoid them and they tease them and they bully them because they don't understand them. It's so hard to see it happen all around. And it's so sad to see it happen and to know that there's so many people out there who think that if you don't look like this or wear this or think this, that you're ugly, that you're not worthy. But, um, yeah. This video um, was just to talk about my burn story and how it has changed my life. And so I'm learning to accept and love and embrace. And it's a slow process, but it it's such an important process because I want to love the skin that I'm in because that's the only way that we will love ourselves and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe